on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're looking at the Week 8 NFL DraftKings picks. We got a few more games than usual on this slate. We have 13 games in the main slate this week. Go ahead and get started if you enjoy the videos. Appreciate the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Check out other links in the description. Uh, starting off with the quarterback position here, we have a few guys above 7,000. Jaden Daniels has a key watchable tag. He left early. Um... You know, start of the, the first quarter, left with the uh, the rib injury. We'll see if he's able to give it a go. It's uh, a nice matchup here against uh, you know, Caleb Williams and the Bears here. You got a battle of the top two quarterbacks taken in the draft. You have Jalen Hurts against Cincy. You know, he's gotten um, A.J. Brown back last couple weeks, and it's really paid off for him, even though he doesn't hasn't thrown a ton of passes last couple of weeks. He's still been productive because he's running, getting touchdowns. Uh, so that's what's really helped him. Uh, but we have a couple of really good value picks that look appealing this week. You have two wide down at 61. He's making his return. We'll s the matchup here is a good one against the Cardinals. Bottom five in the league in defensive rating, uh, giving up points. So at home, he's an easy stack with uh, Tua, and you got Waddle is affordable, and you got Tyreek Hill super affordable. You have Baker, even though he's missing some of his weapons. He's 67. Probably will pass on him this week. Uh, Mahomes, he hasn't really been great for fantasy at all. I mean, he has eight interceptions, only six touchdown passes. He hasn't topped more than 20 fantasy points at all. He hasn't topped more than 18 fantasy points at all. So he's maybe he's probably due to break out soon. They got Hopkins, um, but I'm not going to pay that much for Mahomes yet, even though he's cheaper than he usually is. I'm going with the running quarterback down at $5,600. I got Bo Nix here, who... 75, 61 rushing yards last couple weeks. He's really using his legs more. He has, you know, multiple touchdown passes a couple of his recent games. But really like this matchup here against um, the Panthers, giving up almost 34 points per game. Nix is going to throw. He's at home. He can run. He has Javante Williams getting him more involved. He's been catching more passes. You have Sutton there still. So he has the weapons. I like him. He's shown upside over 20 fantasy points multiple times this season already at the running back position you have Saquon who had a good game against his former team the Giants last week he goes up against Cincy 83 probably has a better matchup than Henry Kenneth Walker he got two touchdowns last week no Metcalf probably get continue to give you touchdown upside um, in this one um, then we have some other affordable picks here we do have Bijan at 72, back-to-back -back really good performances, getting him involved more in the touchdowns, um, catching some passes out of the backfield. And going in the 6K range, you have Kareem Hunt at 63, super productive since he's been a chief, getting a lot of touches. Matchup is good. Take him if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the 7K range, throw in Brees Hall first. He's 73, 100 bucks continues to do well last couple of weeks catching the ball more um looks like Lazard might miss this one so maybe not that's not going to really change too much you still have Adams and and you have Wilson there but overall I like the the spot here it's a really good matchup giving up bottom 10 against the rush and he catches passes too and then we got Bo Nix I'm going to pair him with his running back mate uh Javante Williams he's really come on strong Last few weeks, two rushing touchdowns last week. Um, you know, three of his last four, he's been productive. Matchup is strong. Worst rush defense in the league. Worst defense overall in the league. 6,000 for upside that he gives you. Take a shot with Javante Williams. Wide receivers, you have a couple of injuries, especially on the Tampa Bay side. So we got a really good value pick there. Uh, we have a potential injury here in Cincinnati with... Um, the questionable tag popping up on T. Higgins on Friday. So anytime you got an injury happen during the week, especially on Friday, probably lean to them not playing, but we'll see. If that's the case, give me Jamar Chase, pay up for him. If there's no Higgins, I like it. He's been, he's had a, like a couple of games where you probably needed him to win tournaments, week three and week five. Gives you so much upside, already six touchdowns this season. Um, and then you got Tyree Kill at 7,000. Super cheap, getting his quarterback one back, QB one back this week. You know, the upside that he gives you. Um, and the matchup is strong. 
And then with Tampa Bay being so banged up, you got to go with, you have Sterling Shepard and McMillan as two valuable, as two viable options, but I'm going to go with McMillan at 37, just because he's so cheap, going to probably be the wide receiver one, and Baker's still going to throw, the matchup is still fine, so you got to like him at that price tag, and you got tight ends, K. Dotton as a cheap one, you got Bowers and Kelsey to pay up for, um, but... Um, also, you have injury with Metcalf missing, so you going back to wide receivers. You have Lockett as a valuable, cheap one. Uh, Cooper, 6,000, probably continue to get more involved with the uh, Bills offense. But tight ends, Allen is really good, that price tag, and then you probably want to pay up if you can to um, a Kelsey or a Bowers. Uh, defense, cheap defenses uh, this week, potentially looking at like the, the Saints defense, the Bears, if there is no Daniels this week um or you can pay up for like the broncos at 37 but that's what i got on the DraftKings side on fanduel pretty similar with the picks um except at quarterback i went with joe burrow just 800 more than um bo Nix this week if you don't want to go to him you have other guys that are cheap that look good um but i think Nix is a little bit better value over on DraftKings here not that you can't play him on fanduel but i like burrow especially and pairing him with chase I think the um, at home since he's they give you a lot of upside with that offense and then if um, Higgins misses and you got an easy you know Chase probably looking at a few more targets a nice stack there uh, Williams super affordable on FanDuel amazing price at six thousand Hall is good seventy nine hundred bucks I mean he's much cheaper than some guys that probably shouldn't be cheaper than um, you know Hunt is more expensive than him which you probably don't agree with um, Connor is more expensive. And then receivers, Hill is so cheap at 76 because they didn't really price, his, price him appropriately for Tua being back. And then McMillan has the value pick at 49 as the main guys. And then tight end and defense is pretty similar for the picks. I mean, Otten is a cheap deep tight end if you want to. Kincaid is actually insanely priced on FanDuel. He's $4,000. So definitely go to him if you want to. Um, probably be popular, but him and Otten... Don't think you need to pay up for a tight end on Fanduel when you got those two super cheap, but you always got the Bowers and Kelsey in your mind if you need to. Um, but that's what I got for you guys this week. Best of luck, and I will see you all next time.